still need you. So we're on the way to Alexandra Sport, which is in Portsmouth, and I'm going to be getting some new running trainers today because my current running trainers I've had since about this time last year, but they're getting quite worn um, and quite old, so I think it's time for an upgrade. At Alexandra Sport, they offer um, an analysis, a running gait or running form analysis, um, so you can get kitted out with the correct pair of footwear for your running style. So um, effectively they look at the pronunciation of your foot. You go on a treadmill in two minute stints wearing different kinds of footwear. They analyse your form and then at the end of the day you come out with a pair of footwear which are suited to you in your running form. So we're really looking forward to it. Hopefully we'll be able to show you a little bit of insight into that. Um, but yeah, we'll see you there. Okay, so this is just pretty much measuring my feet. So that's the first thing that he did. My left foot is an eight and my right foot is slightly bigger. So a little bit strange. I've always had that since I was uh, young. Um, but I do have very wide feet. So he's explaining that we'll probably have to go for um, a bigger size. So he needed to measure my height as well. And I come in at about 174 centimeters, 175. So five foot nine. So here he's putting the sensors on um, my shins. So he put it on the flat part of the bone uh, on both legs. And essentially what they are is they're hooked to the, well, set up to the iPad, which then measures the, the different uh, variables um, to do with your stride and to do with your gait. And just making sure that they're completely level uh, with each other to make sure the readings are as accurate as possible. So now I've got on the treadmill. We started off just doing two minutes of a light jog and then he analysed my form for two minutes. So for each item of footwear that I was to use, he would analyse me for two minutes. Um, so I was in my ASICs, which I normally wear, and I had to run at the same pace throughout all of these little tests. So I was just doing 9.5 kilometres um, and yeah, just very, very easy. Shout out to Dad, you top, top cameraman. As equal as, as possible, really. So we want that degree, that percentage there to be low. Yeah. So in the green, that's perfect. That shows the shoes you're running in are good. So then just there as well, where it says average, that's ground reaction for. So we want them two numbers. It doesn't sort of matter how high they are initially until we compare it to another option. Obviously, we're not really going to know. But we do want them to be as low and as equal sort of as we can. So obviously, there's not much between them. There's only about 30 to 40 difference, which really shows that they're okay. And the one below, IPA, is your initial peak acceleration. So it's sort of how much force you're putting through on the front of your foot when you're springing off. And again, we look for that to be sort of as low and equal as possible. So mainly the whole process is to do with symmetry, to do with the symmetry of each result. So 4.3 to 4.1, obviously where it's quite close, it's only 0 0.2 difference. It shows they are good, but we're not really gonna know which one's working without a comparison. So obviously we can try another shoe as well, see how that looks and see if we can better them results. But already that's a good start. Not bad. <laughs> yep, I did do a gait analysis sort of on there for you as well. Yeah. The shoes were showing as they were good enough oh, really? for your feet. Oh, wow. So Brilliant. obviously the shoes you've picked are, are good for that you. Was quite so, there, yeah. <laughs> so obviously we can try another pair as well and go from there. So if you come on over for me. I wasn't expecting that to be honest. So yeah, the reason I wasn't expecting that is because the results are actually really, really good. Considering I just bought my A6 without doing any kind of analysis at all, I think they were about one or two sizes too big. We got some really, really good results and it was, you know, only about minus two. So these are the Mizunas and they are the neutral option. Um, but yeah, they were the first ones I tried out and they were quite comfortable actually. However, you will notice in the slowed down clip that my ankles look like they roll in slightly and when I was running, yes they felt better than my ASICs but they didn't feel as supported as I thought they could be. And the results for this one was a minus one which was better than my ASICs which was a minus two. So that highlights that I had better symmetry in this pair of uh, Mizunas. So while he was fitting these new balances which were the support shoe, he was explaining to me that sometimes he sees people who have imbalances of up to 15 points. Now comparing this to my minus 2 and minus 1, this is mad. So this can be down to the weight that they have on you know, one side of their body. 
bad habits from wearing bad footwear or having poor running or walking form or even you know just down to genetics so the way that they're born and the way that their body has developed and now here as you know with any pair of shoes when you get in them you want to check how much room you have with your toes with running you need to make sure that you do have a little bit of room at the end now these felt a lot more comfortable than the Mizunas and as you can see my ankle doesn't roll in as much which means my pronunciation is better in these ones. Um, also because at the back of the shoe there's a little bit more uh, padding that meant that I was going less onto my forefoot with my strike um, and this is a problem which I've highlighted in previous videos so yeah these shoes were a lot better than the Mizunas and the result was that I had a plus one so he explained to me that with a minus one or a plus one you need to go for the one which is uh, in the positive rather than the negative but really there's no real difference between uh, the Mizunas and these ones so yeah that was really good but that then made it quite difficult to choose between a neutral or a supportive shoe but all in all it highlighted that my pronunciation um, and my gait is in good order and I don't have too many issues. Look at this dude! So just tried a supportive and a neutral I'm just going to go for a third pair now. Really good results so far and the fact that um, there's a lot of symmetry in my running um, yeah. so there's not so much need to I don't really look into it too much and both the supportive and the neutral I've got a minus one and a plus one so there's no real in between but we'll try another pair on and we'll see how it is. So here are the Hoka 1 um, Clifton 5s and now these are neutrals because he explained to me that I perform better and more naturally in the neutral ones which were the new balances so a, new, a neutral shoe would suit me better um, but these ones are a little bit more narrow and they also have a little bit of a chunkier um, bottom so um, offering a bit more support and I've heard of Hoka's before I actually kind of eyeballed these before going to the shop um, I was looking at the Speed Goats but the Clifton 5s also have good reviews on them and I really like the look of them so yeah I was really excited to, to try these out on the treadmill I think with these ones you can really tell how much more kind of support there is and how they absorb um, how they absorb my landing. Um, my ankle doesn't move at all. Um, they just felt so so good. Honestly, like you're running on a cloud. Can't really feel the impact at all. Um, my toes had good room as well, considering they're a size eight and hokers are actually a bit more of a narrow issue. But as you can see with the slowed down clip as well. Um, my overall kind of pronunciation is very very good so was really happy with these I actually scored plus one again but all of the numbers were a little bit tighter together which meant that there was more symmetry when wearing this uh, pair of running trainers so the Hoka ones were the ones I went for and I also went for a little bit of a jog outside just to see what they were like yeah very happy with that yeah very very happy you're just gonna draw the angle down there like yeah we look for it to be as low as possible and we've got about three so obviously we want the feet to move naturally yeah. so that's where the three degrees would come in anything higher we'd probably put support in but it just shows that sort of a neutral shoe is right for you oh, cool not bad just check the other side as well the other side is at more of an angle yeah i think i lost my balance there <laughs> yeah we'll go through Yeah. Well. So it just shows a neutral shoe is right for you to be honest. Super. That's all done. Right then, so we've finally done it. I've got myself a new pair of running trainers. Thank God. Hopefully my feet and the rest of my legs and my toes are going to be fine from now on. Alexandra Sport very helpfully kits us out um, with these new trainers. So I went for the Hoka 11s Clifton 5s in a size 8. I won't be able to too soon because the blisters on my feet I'm going to have to have a few days rest just to let them recover. Um, but yeah, really can't wait to try them out and hopefully um, this will resolve so many issues um, for me in terms of having little nagging injuries and also having blisters as well. Um, yeah, they are a neutral shoe. So what came out of the analysis is that 
Um, I run well in both a neutral and a supported. Um, I think neutral was plus one and a supported was a minus one. No discrepancy between the two and there wasn't anything in between. Um, and these are the shoes, the four that I tried on, including the ones I have at the moment, that had the best results, better symmetry in my running form with them on. So really can't wait to hit the road with these. Quite expensive pair of shoes, but they have a massive um, support here, uh, even the bridge as well. And out of the other pairs of shoes that I tried, these felt like you're running on a cloud, honestly. They're just so supportive. Also in terms of where I'm landing with my, with my gait, it, I didn't feel any over pronunciation on my heel or on my uh, forefoot. It was all, you know, coming on the ball of the foot here, which felt absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to hit the road with these. I really can't. Um, the thing is with the Hoka 1-1s is that they are naturally quite narrow. One might say for me, because I get blisters, isn't, you know, great. But the thing is, I only ever get blisters on um, the bottom of my feet. It's never, never, ever, ever on the sides of my feet. So these, that won't be a problem, I don't think. Um, I do have quite wide feet, so I have to get, I've always had to get like a size up. So I'm at a size eight because of the width. I'm gonna get size 10, but these felt great. So yeah, really looking forward to getting on the road with these. I think they look so nice as well. People may find the color a little bit suspect, but I'm happy. They're beautiful. So yeah, overall, great day getting those shoes. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you got something out of this. I do recommend that you go and do um, some form of analysis on your footwear in terms of your gait and also just your general running form and the pronunciations of your left and right feet if there's symmetry in your running style. Somewhere like Alexandra Sport in Portsmouth, where they offer that kind of service, it's, it's fantastic. And in the long run, you're gonna benefit from it. And hopefully I am as well, having these new running shoes. But hopefully you found this really useful. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode of Rosa 26.2. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, share, and yeah, let's continue on this journey to 26.2.